think for a minute about when you first your first um, experience of coming of Cranford, whether it was yeah. that you came in or whether you met somebody. Yeah. What what did you experience? What was the experience like for you? Um, well, initially when I heard about Cranford, I was reluctant to sort of go there or, or um, have anything to do with it because of my diagnosis. I I felt that me going to Cranford was probably too soon a time to go somewhere. It may it felt almost like I was turning the pages of the story too quickly and that, that it was somewhere that I would go to die and then, then that was that. So um, s sort of I hadn't really been in contact with Cranford a, a lot um, but obviously as time went by and I spent more time in hospital um, and, and the idea of coming somewhere different to be out of that hospital system where it's a little bit you sort of feel like you're being, you're telling the same people, or sorry, you're telling different people the same story over and over again, mm -hmm. got a bit much. And so then um, when I've just had my latest diagnosis of, of timing-wise on how things could unfold, I thought, yeah, okay, well, I think it's time for the hospice now because then I'd be always talking to the same people and, and they would know what pain medication to get me onto, and uh, and and when to um, when to take that medication. Um, so my ideas had changed a little, um, and then as soon as we were brought here uh, on the ambulance, um, which I thought was a little bit too much because you know I was like, oh well, I'm fine, I can walk. But it was, it was a nice trip in the ambulance and uh, it was a sunny day like it is today. And, uh, and as soon as I came in here and we, we came into the building, um, it just felt right. You know, I, I, my wife was with me um, when we came and uh, the, the, the room was nice up, made up nicely and I, I sat down and, and there was just something about the, the, the building itself or the, the, the surroundings and, and the staff that... Um, I just felt settled, really, you know. Uh, and and now that I've been here, uh, probably a couple of weeks now, sort of coming and going between here and home, with ultimately wanting to just be at home for for for, for the long term, I suppose. Um, it's nice to be able to just come back though, because uh, every now and then I'm going to have a little bit of a funny night or something, and 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 I can just come here. And, and uh, stay for a couple of hours and have a bit of a break here. Um, my wife's at home with the kids and, and, and visitors coming and going as well at, at home. Um, this has kind of become a bit of a sanctuary, really. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also, um, my, uh, the, the kids have been able to stay at home and have, uh, have my parents babysit them. And Mary Ann's been able to come here and stay the night here as well, which has been great too because she's um, been able to stay in the bed next to me and, and uh, you know you can um, you can go to bed together and sit there and talk about what's happening and then come the morning as well wake up together and, um, and you know be together um, in the morning which has been wonderful and it's such a sunny room as well. Yeah. That's great.